What's up YouTube? I'm Noelle, this is Doug, and this is my brand new channel that is part of my brand, Noelle Daydream. So for those of you who are not familiar with my website, it's Noelle, N-O-E-L-L-E, -E, daydream.com. And it's pretty much like an outlet for me to talk about whatever I want. So there's a whole bunch of things on there like food, specifically ice cream because I'm obsessed, music, um, a lot of like relationship advice because we just got married in uh, last August and right now it's oh. March. So it's been a while. What? Stop right there, I should probably put my ring on. So as I was saying, we just got married in August of 2019 and now this is March 2020. And if you're, I mean, living in this world, obviously we're all stuck in the house and I figure this is a perfect time to add to my content. So welcome to this video about our honeymoon. Um, we got a really good deal, which is why we wanted to, well, I wanted to share this with everyone because I think travel is something that a lot of people shy away from because you think it's too expensive or it's just like a lot of energy to have to book a flight and book like a car and a hotel. And then you got to worry about activities and food and everything and it can add up. So anyway, I've heard a lot of good things about Costco travel and that's what we did for our honeymoon. So Costco memberships are like $120 Pretty a cheap. year. It's super cheap. We paid, I think it was under $4,000. It was about $3,700, $3,800. Yeah, so, 30, so we'll say $3,800 for the two of us. And that included our round trip flight to Cancun. We live in LA, so it was like a five hour flight. Well, five and a half. Five. Yeah, five hour flight. We flew Delta, so it wasn't spirit. Like it was, it was legit. We get to the hotel, which we stayed at the Unico 2087. Um, super nice. I think it's like a five star hotel. It was all inclusive, very bougie. Like when we got off of the shuttle, they came out with a little like towel. We we don't go places, so like we did not know how to act. My favorite part of the whole experience was when they bring you like your scented amenities and you get to choose. And to be honest, this is why I went with this hotel is because it had the scented amenities. Like I'm big on smells. So they gave us four options. We picked, boom, our room smelled amazing by the time we got there and it was clutch. And we picked the room that has its own little like swim up pool. And then that connected to kind of like this little like river that all the rooms out there connected to. Um, on the first day it was turned up. Like there's um, a group of folks just super drunk in their uh, pool. Just they yelling. told us there were 16 shots in. Yes, yeah. because it's all inclusive. So people were just like drunk the whole time. And we eventually got there as well. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. I love all inclusive. Like if you travel to me, like you have to do all inclusive. Yeah. Like there's no reason not to because for pretty much everything, we paid 3,800 bucks. I think while we were there, we maybe spent Maybe like um, $300, maybe? Nah, maybe a little more than that because we tip for a lot of stuff. Maybe oh, yeah. 500 bucks, 600 bucks, including like excursions mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So that same amount of stuff, if you were just paying for everything by yourself, that would have been like seven, 8,000 bucks. Yeah. Like easily. 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 So to me, if you travel, if you want to go somewhere um, and you haven't done so yet, all inclusive is usually the way to go. We were there for a week, so we went to every single restaurant. My favorite was probably, it was like a tie between the steakhouse and the Japanese restaurant. And the steakhouse got points because they had like this ice cream truck and you can make like your own little sundae. So that got points for me. I mean, they had like these really good like Mediterranean kebabs, which were fire. And then the Japanese place just overall was really good. Like everything, the sushi, um, the little hibachi was really good. I think this, the Japanese steakhouse for me was number one also. Mm -hmm. um, they have, so it's kind of two parts. They had a hibachi restaurant and then they had a regular, just kind of Japanese food, sushi, so on and so forth. So we tried the chicken teriyaki, we had the sushi, and then another night we went back and had the hibachi, which is also fire. Um, and then for me, the second was actually the Mexican food restaurant. Yeah. I got, both times I went, we went twice, both times I got the lobster tail. Right, um, that's why he liked it. Yeah, it was, it was funny. <laughs> It was flame. It was like a lobster tail, but it had like a uh, like a crumble on top. It was it was flame. And you got the steak too at the um, steakhouse. I couldn't finish it. It was enough steak for two people at least. Yeah, at, at least. I feel like the thing that I struggled with as we kind of got further along into the trip was just how wasteful I kind of felt. I ate more than I needed to eat the just entire week. Just because, like, what else are you gonna do? When you go to the restaurant. Um, and you order a meal like the serving size. Yeah. Depending on what you got, but the serving size is usually more than what you needed. And then uh, I think one of the things that we both talked about kind of that whole week was during the week that you're there, 
you're kind of waited on hand and foot like the hotel came with a butler program yeah. and you have somebody at your room anytime you needed something and sometimes you can kind of tell like uh, of course everybody's working there is our locals the guy who dropped us off on our shuttle drives two and a half hours to work every day so you kind of you, I mean, you, it was like a sense that. of guilt kind of because yeah. it's you know like, here we come with like and it's not even like we out here balling not but, at all. Like, <laughs> but here we even. come yeah just just order whatever you want get whatever you want we order steaks can't even finish it and yeah. these are people who probably couldn't afford this on their best days so before we did our excursions we did take part in some of the like activities mm -hmm. um that the hotel had to offer so like we played bingo Doug won, everybody took shots. Of course. It was cool. Course. Um they had pool volleyball, which is cute. Doug played that too. Um my ring fell off. I had everybody in the game looking for my ring in the pool. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. And then we did like a little yeah. salsa dancing, which was like it was rough because the We were the only two in the class with <laughs> any type of rhythm. So we did Tulum, that was cute. It was hot. It was cute. It was hot. First of all, the Tulum, the ruins in Tulum are amazing. It's beautiful. It's They're crazy. Like on the ocean too, which is really yeah. Nice. It's like it's it's like something out of a movie, mm -hmm. but it's it's real life. It's really dope. If you're ever in Cancun or just Mexico in general, because it's pretty much everywhere. But um, go and visit the ruins if you just want to feel a little bit of like history. I guess it's just like it's amazing to be somewhere that is so old um, and it's still standing. Um, we got like souvenirs and stuff there. Um, it was very touristy, but I mean, again, you can only control so much. So that was cool. And they uh, took care of the shuttle service, like picked us up at the hotel. They gave us a little guided tour. You had like an hour, 30 minutes to go off on your own. So it was dope. And there's like a whole bunch of iguanas, which I thought was different. They got a special kind of fucking raccoon, like whatever it what is. There's about? You don't remember that? But there was like, there was like a, it's not a rodent, but it's like, it's like a, a certain, a special species of raccoon. You that was like, well, that all right, when I put this video, I'm going to put it in the video. Watch. I don't remember raccoons. Because she was freaking out about it, but it was like a big old thing and it was walking around, but it was like kind of cute though. And I low key wants to pet it, but. I mean, the next day we did uh, snorkeling and zip lining and ATV. So that was like, I thought that I could watch the snorkeling but still be involved which <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know like how you thought that was i don't know happen. what i was thinking i thought that i would be able to like be on the beach you know and like sit and watch but it wasn't like that it was like a cove and then i had to stand by myself it was nice it was like it's like a cove kind of thing it's not like an ocean or anything like that it's like an inlet it's inland and then straight from there we went to zip lining which Zip lining is something that like I feel like everyone says you have to do. If you're seeking a little bit of a thrill, it's like middle road and you can say you did it. I'm afraid of heights. I thought that maybe zip lining would get him out of his comfort zone. I thought it would too, maybe. It didn't. So the thing that I wasn't with personally was like the first one that you go on, we went up like five stories like you're walking up this little tower wooden tower it's super windy the tower is it's like out, kind of, you're outside it's yeah. held together by like netting and like yeah screws and i think really what and i'm not i wouldn't say i'm afraid of heights like i have bigger fears but what i wasn't with was the the casualness of the people sending you off it was about 150 feet that first one was if you've never been up 150 like, feet it doesn't sound like a lot but 150 feet fam it's high. You walk up there, you clamp yourself in, and you just slide off. There's no net under you. You're yeah. just sliding on a rope. And the jungle is below. Jungle and jagged trees. So if you fall, it's a wrap. We didn't speak the whole time. Like, <laughs> when we got past the first one, it wasn't like, oh, like, how are you doing, babe? Good. It was silent. So long story short, we didn't enjoy it. Um, so after that, we did ATVing because Doug wanted to do that. And eh. I got her all muddy. It was great. We had fun. I had fun. So overall, um, I think we really enjoyed our honeymoon. It was very uh, needed. We didn't go on our honeymoon directly after the wedding. So we got married in August. We went on our honeymoon in December, which I actually kind of liked. Like I wasn't mad that we didn't, I don't know, go after to the, the whole wedding fiasco, not fiasco, but the whole like... <laughs> 
everything that goes in. Was a fiasco. <laughs> no, our- we also went before the week before Christmas, which was nice. So it was like vacation, Christmas. We went, we got to wind down and then get back to life. Um, so my overall takeaway, I feel like it was a really good vacation. Um, if I could do anything differently. If I was really trying to stunt, I would maybe do the private transportation from the airport to the room just because I would bring. Honestly, I packed very light. I probably would have. I would have packed more clothes. Um, she talked so much about me for packing a lot of stuff, which my luggage was overweight. It That's was. not the His point. His luggage was what, 60, 70 pounds? It wasn't no 70 pounds. <laughs> I would have taken a pair of shoes that I didn't mind getting dirty. I would have not done not Liz braids. Um, honestly, I probably just would have just worn my hair in a bun or just worn it out so that I wasn't so worried about it. For me, I think I don't. There's not too much I would have changed. I had a, a great time. Um, we relaxed. We ate a lot of good food, which is for me, I love food. So we had a lot of good food. We did the excursions. I think maybe the only thing is I would have started doing the excursions earlier in the yeah. trip. I would have planned um, our excursions beforehand too. We didn't. We, we went, did them, I think, like day four. Yeah, but like, I'm also, just because of how I like to plan everything, I would have looked up the excursions ahead of time and then said, this is what we're doing. I think it was kind of good we didn't know because we actually, when we went, it rained. So it was, uh, we were in, I mean, it was Tulum, not Cancun, but it rained for maybe like the first two or three days. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually glad that we didn't plan to do anything on those days because uh, yeah. we would have, it would have been a little difficult. For our next trip, I really wouldn't mind going back to um, like Tulum, Cancun. I really want to go to St. Lucia, um, like South Caribbean. Just that's where my family's from. So I'd love to do like a St. Lucia, Grenada, Trinidad trip. That'd be really fun. I felt like couples trips before this were super corny. But now I see why people do it because you're having such a good time anyway with like your spouse. So it's really fun to like go with friends. So I think our next trip, we would like to do a couple's trip. I think a couple's trip to Mexico would be best because you just get so much bang for your buck. So for me, again, I I would do the excursions a little bit earlier, maybe in the trip next time. Out of a seven-day trip, I would probably start planning to do excursions maybe day two or three um, and probably spread it out, maybe do a couple more excursions, get something else in there. So if I was to do it again, I would go during the summer. I would stay actually in Cancun. The resort we stayed at has a resort in Cancun, like the city Cancun. Um, And I think like you were saying, that's actually what we're going to do next. We want to plan like a a friend's trip, um, a couple's trip, a friend's trip, something where we go to actually Cancun and we can have fun and and, um, experience that life with our friends. Anyway, thank you guys for watching my first video. I am trying to get out more content, be more comfortable in front of the camera because that's really not my thing. It's a process. Quarantine is real. So here I am. Like the video. Look at me. Like the video. Subscribe. Uh, follow me on Insta. and Comment. Hit the notification bell. Follow her on Instagram. Noelle also, Daydream. Yeah. And go to my blog. Uh, there's so much content on there. There's a lot of fun things. I think everybody can take a little bit from there. So that's Noelle. N-O-E-L-L-E. Daydream.com. Thanks. Peace. Can't be